Because of its ability to form complex, stable molecules, carbon is an essential element for life on planet Earth. Without this element and its characteristics, life as we know it would not exist. Carbon is exchanged between the biosphere, pediosphere, geosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere in a continuous way in what is known as the carbon cycle. But although we usually think of the carbon pool of the biosphere and the atmosphere, the reality is that, on a global scale, the amount of carbon in the soil is twice as much as that in the atmosphere and three times greater than the one in the biosphere. In this cycle of carbon, the organisms that inhabit the biosphere play a fundamental role since they serve as a storehouse of nutrients and energy that provide key ecosystem services for life on the planet. They can determine soil fertility, increase the resilience of ecosystems against external disturbances or contribute to climate regulation through the accumulation of carbon. Although we know quite a bit about carbon exchange between the atmosphere and plants, less is known of carbon dynamics in soils and almost nothing about the contribution of vertebrate animals to the cycle in tropical environments. Now, in a study by a multi-institutional team led by Stanford University in the tropical forests of southern Guyana, scientists observed that the concentration of carbon in soils besides being positively related to the diversity of trees, is also heavily influenced by mammal diversity. The scientists found that the diversity of carnivorous, herbivorous and frugivorous mammals influenced carbon concentration in the soils of tropical forests through the input of carcasses, fecal matter and discarded plant parts such as fruits and seeds left on the forest floor. Higher diversity of these mammals resulted in higher carbon concentration in soils. Based on this study, we can say that tropical forests with higher tree and mammal diversity will be more efficient at capturing resources and producing biomass. We can also say that the loss of this biodiversity may affect the carbon cycle and carbon retention in the biosphere, with negative consequences for ecosystem function. By protecting and sustainably managing mammal diversity, humanity can help secure services provided by nature such as beauty, goods, food fibre and timber, and climate regulation through the retention of carbon in the biosphere. Mm -hmm.